In this video, I will share a guide on how to fix GTA 5 Enhanced Minimum Recommended Hardware Check Failure, which we get when we launch the game for AMD graphics card users. To fix this problem, we will be experimenting with three methods. Before I show you that, I need you to right-click on your desktop and select the AMD Software option. If you don't have AMD Software, the link for this software is in the video description box. Once the AMD software is loaded up, you need to go to the Home tab from here. On the Home tab, click on the Check for Updates button to see if there are any new updates and install them. If it says Up to Date, then do not worry. We will now apply our first solution method. To apply this fix, I need you to open your This PC or My Computer section, then go to the Documents folder from the left side and open the Rockstar Games folder. If you don't have this folder, I will leave mine in the video description. Once here, go to the GTA 5 Enhanced folder and find the Settings file. If you do not have this file as well, I will leave mine in the video description. Now, right-click on it and open the file in Notepad. We will put some special code here. For that, I need you to open this page of custom commands and scroll down to the Limits section. Here is the Limits section. Now scroll down to the Commands table. From here, you need to first copy the first line of code. So simply select and copy the whole line of code from here. After doing this, open your notepad and look for the graphics section, which should be at the start of the settings code. Once you find it, click on the very end of it and hit enter to create a new row. Now paste the code here, just like I'm doing on your screen. When that is done, open the web page again, and you need to copy the second line of code from here. You only need this code if your graphics card does not support DirectX 12. Check the description box to learn more. For now, select and copy the code from here. Now open the notepad, and just like before, we will paste this file under the graphics section exactly the way I am doing on your screen. After doing that, click on File from the top and save the notepad. Now there is one more step you need to do. Close the notepad, and this was the settings file we just modified. I need you to right-click on it and go to Properties. From here, you just need to check the read-only checkbox and simply apply and save the properties window. Now I need you to open your GTA 5 and see if that helps. You may need to restart your computer in some cases. Now I will share the second method. For that, open your GTA 5 game folder. Here are all the locations where you can find your game directory. But when you are here, you need to scroll down and look for the Play GTA 5 file. Right-click on it, and I need you to create a shortcut of this file to your computer's desktop, just like I am doing on your screen. Once you create that, open your computer desktop. This is the shortcut we just created, and I need you to right-click on it and go to Properties. From here, you need to look for this Target section. If you do not have this section, it might be because you are on an older operating system. But keep in mind, GTA 5 Enhanced only runs on the latest version of Windows 10 and Windows 11. Anyways, in this section, you need to move to the end of the address and hit the spacebar button on your keyboard to make space, as we will put some code here. I already have the code here in Notepad, but I will leave this code in the video description box for you. Now select the whole code line and copy it from here. Now open the Properties window again, and paste the code here at the end of the target address. After doing this, simply apply and save from here. Now you just need to launch your game from this special shortcut on your screen, and this time you do not need to restart your computer. If everything goes well, your game should work fine. After you applied both methods and still your game is not working, I have one more method to share. But first, I need you to do a small troubleshoot. To do that, you need to install two software programs on your computer. Number one is DirectX. For that, open this page and download DirectX offline and install it on your computer. The second software you need is Visual C Plus Offline Edition, which you can download from this page, so install this one as well. If you think you already have these software programs installed, go ahead and install them again and try to play the game after. For the third method, you will need to apply a Graphic Bypass Mods Pack. Now, do keep in mind that GTA 5 Enhanced is very new, and not a lot of modders are spending time to create custom bypass mods for every single graphics card. For the Bypass Mods pack, you can watch this video on your screen. I would say one important thing. If you really want to experience GTA 5 Enhanced, then it's worth investing in a good graphics card. I will try to recommend a few in the video description. Leave a like, subscribe, and join the channel to show your support. I've got itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound scar to see. Everybody come here. Gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town.